So we're here at NAB and we've just bumped into our great friend Kelsey, Premier Gal. Uh, Kelsey, you are one of the hardest workers I think we know. You're, you're here for Premier Gal, you're here for Whipster. Yeah. Uh, tell us a bit about what you're doing here at the show. And Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've been coming to NAB for about three years now and it, I came here when I just had a few hundred subscribers mm. and was just like, let's go around and network, let's meet as many people as we can and I was like a little ashamed, I was like, I only have like 500 subscribers or whatever, but I didn't care, I was like, I just want to, you know, explore and see what new products there were. Um, and then yeah, Premier, Premier Gal grew and now it's more about like quality content for me mm. and really creating valuable resources, education for people that are in the video space and the photography space. And as I grew, I realized you know, I love doing YouTube, it's, it's great, but I also um, love working on a team as well. Mm. And Whipster came along at the right time and was like, hey, do you want to lead our, basically be like a creative director for their, their growth um, section? And I was like, yeah, let's try it. So I get to work with other YouTubers now. I've grown a partner network with them because of my experience on YouTube. So it was almost like a, I, I built up kind of a portfolio in a sense in YouTube to then be able to help another company out um, create a partner network basically. And there's a big uh, congratulations in order because the Premier Gal channel's just gone over 100,000 subscribers. Yes. So a huge yeah. well done there. And for people who uh, may be new to our channel, I mean, you know, we, we always uh, share, your, share your content. It's always fantastic stuff. But if people are new to the channel and they may not have seen the Premier Gal channel, what can they expect on that? Yeah, so basically I do, um, it's kind of like I categorize it as video, photo, audio. So I kind of provide all sorts of tips on creating better video, creating better photos, making your audio sound good. So for example, in situations like this, how do you attenuate the sound to make it sound better and really um, you know, enhance the vocal quality? So I do a bunch of different things. So if you head there, that's usually what you should expect. Cool. Yeah. And um, so we have a lot of new filmmakers coming on board asking us questions. And often uh, a question that's asked is, Premiere looks good, but it looks very, very hard. What's your opinion? <laughs> is, is Premiere a tough video editor to, to, you know, to start out with? or? Absolutely not. Like I would say that you could learn the interface in 20 minutes and mm. then the skill just comes over time mm. through practice. And I was lucky enough to have been working on Final Cut Pro 7 um, back in like late early 2010 sort of 2009 and they hired I, I believe Adobe hired the same person that was in charge of design of Final Cut Pro 7 mm. so then when they came out with Final Cut oh. Pro 10 I just I didn't it was like a weird interface at mm. first but then I went to Premiere I was like this is quite familiar mm. so mm. it was just easy just to come in there were a few different shortcuts and everything so for me it just seems so natural people that are used to Final Cut Pro 10 might be like why is it like this you know mm. what I mean but it, it's it's my jam yeah, yeah, cool. And if and if you do start out on Premiere, there are I always get stuck on the tiny things. It, it's just something small that I'll be I'll be going through fine, and it'll just be something like how how to fade out an audio track, things like that. Right. But anything you want to know, if you head to Premiere Girls channel, you'll find yeah. a video there for almost everything now, yeah. which is really great. Um, what were, when you were first learning Premiere, were there any big stumbling blocks you had that you can remember? Um, were you, I think some, the masking was a little difficult, and they recently just did more updates to make that faster. Mm. But still, like um, like masking is located under opacity and effect controls. It's not that intuitive. Mm. So that for me, I was like, what the heck is going on? Um, but they've really improved a lot recently. Um, that was just one major hurdle that I had. Um, you know, a lot of the stuff I've been doing now is like how to use the essential graphics panel. I think a lot of people struggle with how to make a responsive design. So that that just basically means that if you want a, a lower third to adapt to any different uh, size of video, like vertical mm. or square, it's not that intuitive. But they're making it easier and easier. Mm, yeah. Definitely. And there's, there's some uh, we've been over at the Adobe booth um, yesterday and, and today. And there's just some great stuff coming out of Adobe. Uh, you've got Premiere Rush too, which is really cool yes. for iOS. Have you been using that at all? I use it a little bit on my mobile phone, but I'm just such a Premiere Pro lover that yeah. I don't tend to use it. But mm. it's great for like people that are on the go because everything's stored in the cloud. So it doesn't matter what device you're on, mm. just pick up where you left off. Definitely. And obviously you're a very successful channel now. You're helping other channels out. What would be your advice for someone starting their own channel, you know, they're getting into filmmaking. Um, do you think it's important to have a channel and what would your advice be to someone getting started in yeah. YouTube? Whether you're an influencer or a brand, I would highly recommend 
using YouTube as a way of connecting with your audience. Mm. And most of my work comes through YouTube. So mm -hmm. like just by sharing your knowledge, whatever it is, people will be like, oh, that person's an expert. I want to work with them. It just opens up heaps of opportunities for you. And I never would have imagined that, you know, here I am getting interviewed by Editor's Keys mm. and like all these cool people here know my channel and stuff. And it's just amazing. So if you have an idea for something, just do it. Um, I was on a social media panel yesterday and we were talking about how find your niche mm. and then how do you relate that niche to the popular culture mm. so if there's something going on that's trending how do you relate your product to that in a creative way mm. and that's how you kind of can accelerate your growth in the beginning mm. and then you can kind of do whatever you want mm. once you're big enough because people are like I just want to see that person um, but you kind of have to focus on really key things that are like highly searchable in the beginning and sometimes it's not like the most fun stuff to do but then mm. Once you make it, you can kind of expand that portfolio a mm. bit. And did you find, uh, when we've spoken to other uh, people who have had successful channels this week, uh, we've talked a bit about consistency because I know even, even when we're doing our channel now, yeah. it's quite, actually quite hard to keep consistent and keep yeah. thinking of new videos to do, even if it's just something short. Yeah. How, how did you first get over that, the sort of consistency, you know, constantly putting out good content? In the beginning, I had so many ideas that it was almost like I, I felt like I didn't have enough time to do all my mm. ideas. And now that I'm like, have done a ton of content, it's either revisiting that same piece of content, but more advanced, higher quality, or it's pushing the limits and be like, how can I create a cool effect, like the matrix effect, and really, really doing a lot of research. So like. For me, like I put a lot of work into each video, so it's not easy for me to do daily content. So I'm lucky if I can do one video a week because I have to research, yeah. I have to find the right equipment, I need to make sure that I'm saying the right stuff because if I'm gonna be an expert in my industry, I need to not be giving wrong information because yeah. then that's bad, you know mm. what I mean? Yeah. I, want, I want people to be doing the right things and I wanna be sharing the right way to do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you're kind of like a role model to me because uh, we've hung out a bit uh, during NEB and, and you, you, you all are over the place in a good way. You're so busy, you're doing so many things. Uh, and if you, know, if you can still fit in time to do video, then it's an inspiration to me to do oh, more videos. Well, so thanks. thanks very much. Um, but you know, thanks so much for joining us on the channel. And, and thanks to Editor's Keys too. They, they were like the first people that reached out to me even when I was small and they were like, we love what you're doing. And they sent me like a microphone and stuff and they've always been there to support. So I mean, Shout out to you guys yeah, for just supporting you. small creators and empower. I mean, because of you, like you guys, you uplifted me seriously. Ah, oh, that means a lot. <laughs> thanks very much. And and yeah, well, your channel inspires us too. So yeah, thanks for joining us. And uh, I'm sure you'll see Kelsey Premier Girl on more videos yeah, in the future. Great. Thank you so much, Mark. Thank you.